kind of coach you talked about. I mean, you kind of how you've worked for those moments like you got thrown into. I mean, how do you work for that moment? How much does, I mean, being in them so many times help you kind of stay calm in the moment, grounded? Um, yeah, I think that you work through the work for those moments by, I mean, a lot of different ways. Like one, just working hard in the bullpen, working hard in the weight room. Like it's, you know, end of season. I want to be at my best. So it's all of that work that goes in behind the scenes. So I, my body is at its peak shape at the end of the season. And then I think also just the experience being in there and the, honestly the failures being in there is just huge and learning to deal with the failures and learning just how to keep failing forward and keep learning from every opportunity. Um, so when you do get to be a fifth year in those positions, you're, you're pretty comfortable, you know what you got, and you know, you're know you ready to go out there and get it done. We talked about yesterday, you mentioned you know in your five years, this is the second time you've been able to do it. How does this feel compared to like you know, your first year, freshman year, of winning ACC regular season championship? Um, yeah, I think my freshman year, I just, you know, I didn't know a whole lot. You kind of, you, you don't really get it till you get it when you come to Florida State. So I think now I, I get it and I get to, um, play a much different role than I did my freshman year. So, um, I mean, but I think that in both years we had a lot of really great people putting in a lot of hard work and it paid off and it's really awesome and it's really fun to celebrate with my team. So, Kat, the first couple of innings you were getting a lot of ground balls like you would like. And then, in, you know, when you have to go through the order like second and third time, do you try to like change it up or go into your bag and, you know, you know switch up your pitches or how do you handle that? Yeah, um, I think that it depends every game what our game plan is going in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm a contact pitcher, so first time through the lineup, I would expect to get a lot of ground balls. And then just going from there, it's what do we want to do? Do we want to attack them the same way? Do we want to switch it up? What did we see from their swings? Um, and then also, you know, it's a three-game series. It's not just this game. So I think, you know, trying to keep some things in my back pocket for game three. When do we bring them out? You know, um, are they hitting the drop ball well, whatever it is. So it's a lot of constant communication between Kocha and Michaela and me, and it's um, it's a lot of fun. It's like a chess match, basically, of like how do we want to get these batters out because, as you guys saw, they're a great team. They could definitely swing it. So um, it's fun to kind of have those in-game chats and figure out where we're going to go. You mentioned it's a three-game series. How big does it get the, you know, the regular season championship out of the way? On the first day, so you don't have to worry about the next two days, just go out and play softball. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome to go out there and win that. And I mean, yeah, now we're just focused on playing some more Florida State softball, trying to get the series win. Uh, if we get that tomorrow, just going for the sweep on Sunday and as we celebrate our seniors. So I think, um, you know, just playing good softball all week or all weekend.